Okay, the third section in um, chapter three of graph, linear equations and graphing lines. And as we graph lines, we've talked about graphing by the plotting points and talked about the intercepts. Now we're gonna talk about the slope of a line. And the slope of a line is basically the steepness of a line. It's like, how steep is the line rising or how steep uh, it could be how steep is the line rising, and that would be a positive slope, or it may actually how steep is the line falling, and then that's going to be a negative slope. Uh, so it's the steepness of the line, and the slope is um, the slope is measured um, is a ratio, and that ratio is measured by uh, the change in y divided by the change in X. This delta means change. And in mathematics, or in this section, we use this indicate the variable M for the slope. So if we had a, for example, if we had a point here, we don't know what the point is, it's just that point on the line. And say we have another point on the line, we'll put the point here. So you have two points on the line. We don't know what those points are. But we'll say that this point right here is maybe x sub 2, y sub 2. And maybe this point is x sub 1, y sub 1. And these subscripts just means that it's the first point. And you know this could be the first point, and this could be the second one. I just labeled it the first and second point. So if you start talking about the steepness of the line or the change in y, so when you look at the change in your y variable divided by your change in your x variable, if we kind of look at how the y variable changes, so from here to here is your uh, change in your y, and then from this point to this point is your um, change in your x. And how do we get that, the change in the y divided by the change in X. Again, the ratio, the slope is measured in terms of a ratio. So the slope is a ratio of how the X value changes and how the Y value changes. So how do, how do we get them to change or how do we uh, find the change? Well, you can subtract. So if you say, for example, um, you have the variable M, you're looking for the change. If you look for the change in your y variables, you're going to just subtract y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And if you think about the change in your x values, you subtract the 2. So you have x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is a formula you should know. Put it, Write it down and put it in your notes. Um, sometimes and you may be familiar with it. Um, they, they, you know, sometimes students will refer to the change in your y variable because it goes up and down um, is your rise if you plot points and then the run is your horizontal x-axis so the rise of the run so you may have heard that when you're dealing about the slope of a line but more importantly you want to make sure that you make this um, formula in your notes you will need it as we continue to talk about the slope of a line. So remember, the slope of a line is the steepness of the line. Okay, in 3.3, we're also gonna be talking about the equation of a line. And we already know that the standard form of an equation of a line is AX plus BY equals C. And I want you to make sure that you understand that that's the standard form of a line. And we'll be talking about the standard form and the slope intercept form. The slope intercept form of a line, what we're gonna be working with mostly in this chapter or in this section, uh, this is still in the, both our equations of a line now. I want you to make sure both our equations of a line, this is the standard form and this is the slope intercept form. And one reason or, or, or how you can remember this is a slope intercept form is that um, the slope intercept, you can just look at this 
equation of a line and determine the slope and the intercept. The, remember the variable M stands for the slope and variable B is the y-intercept. And remember the y-intercept is any point zero where you have a point y at, because the y-intercept is where x equals zero. So that's uh, the second thing that we're gonna be learning in section 3.3. .3. We have the slope and the equation of the line, but I wanna reemphasize now, when we're dealing with these slopes, we wanna make sure that we understand the slope intercept form. Both of these are equations of a line. This is a standard form. This is a slope intercept form. Write them down. You wanna make sure that you understand both. The third thing that we're going to be learning in 3.3, .3, the slope of the line, is we're going to be looking at the characteristics of parallel and perpendicular lines. And those characteristics will be around the slope. So we'll be looking at the slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let me make sure that you understand the difference or at least know the difference between parallel and perpendicular lines and what their slope looks like. Again, you have the Cartesian plane. We still have our X and Y axis. So our slope or our parallel lines. So let's look at parallel lines. Parallel lines are like this. Let me change the color here just for you. So this is a parallel line, or these are parallel lines right beside each other. So the characteristic that you want to know about parallel lines is that they have the same slope. So maybe we'll call this um, um, the, M, the slope of line one and the slope of line two. Parallel lines have the same slope. So that means that the slope of line one is going to equal the slope of line two. So that's a characteristic that you want to know that the slope of parallel lines are equal slope. They have the same slope. When you have perpendicular lines, perpendicular lines are lines that form a 90 degree angle. we'll call this slope one and slope two. And when you multiply, lines are perpendicular, if when you multiply their slopes, when you multiply the slope of line one and the slope of line two, it equals negative one or the negative reciprocal of each other. So this is a characteristic that we're learning parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines, uh, when you multiply their slopes together, you equal negative one. So in 3.3, .3, there's three um, objective or three dynamics or three things we'll be learning about at the slope of the line. And that's when we'll be learning about the steepness of a line. And in order to get that steepness of a line, we have to make sure we understand the slope. And we know the slope formula is y equals y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one. And this is just a formula to find the slope of a line when we have two points. And then we have the equation of a line. And primarily in this section, we're gonna be looking at the slope intercept form of a line. And that's y equals mx plus b. And again, we call it the slope intercept form because you can just look at it and see the slope. And you can look here and see the y intercept. However, you must be solving for y. So you need the y over here equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form. But I also want to remind you of the standard form of an equation of a line. I don't want you to forget that. But as we look at the slope, we'll primarily be looking at the slope-intercept form. 
And when we look at parallel and perpendicular lines, again, we're looking at the slope of parallel lines. And you want to know that the slope of parallel lines have the same slope. And the slope of perpendicular lines is a negative reciprocal. So when you multiply them together, the slope of the first line and the slope of the second line, it equals negative one. And these subscripts just means that's the slope of the first line, slope of the second line. And the same thing here, these are like X and Y points and X of one and Y to one, this is the first point and X of two and Y of two is the second point. And it's just to distinguish the point. So these are the three items that I will go through the workbook and give you some examples. So go into the workbook now. Okay, so this is from the workbook, a few problems from the workbook. Um, I, in the beginning, we talked a little bit about this, the slope and the steepness of a line. You can uh, pause the video to look at that again. And then um, there's something here about positive and negative numbers. Um, when it rises from left to right, it's a positive slope. And if it's slant downwards, a fall is a negative slope. And you want to kind of recognize those uh, characteristics. And um, they it's mentioned here the slope of horizontal and vertical lines. So you want to make sure that you um, kind of note this. Horizontal lines have the slope of 0. Horizontal lines have. Um, the slope of zero and um, all vertical lines that are in the form X equals a constant, those slopes are undefined. So you wanna make sure you note that. So let's look at these examples here. And this is just an exercise to show you or to demonstrate the, the lines, whether the positive, negative, zero or undefined. So you have four categories here. You have um, lines over here. So um, identify A, B, C, D in the figure and determine for each line, determine uh, which of the following is true. So we look at the positive slope. The slope is positive. So remember positive slope is the line that's rising to the right. That's rising to the right. So if we look at these slopes, line B is a positive slope. So line B is the positive slope. The negative slope, the negative slope is going in the other direction. So um, line A is a negative slope and E is a negative slope because both of them are rising to the left. So lines A and E are negative slopes. So you have lines A and E. So slope of zero. So when you look at slope of zero and undefined, you're looking at zero and undefined. If you look at zero, it's when Y equals, Y equals a constant. And Y equals a constant is a horizontal line. So that means that all of our horizontal lines are zero. And I think this is line A here, this blue line. Okay, wait a minute. And so I got the negative slope of A. So maybe this is line D. I'm looking at this. Yeah, maybe this is line D. So maybe that um, the negative slopes are D and E and not A and E. I think this is, yeah, this is um, E and D. So we're going to say this is E and D. So this purple line is line D. This A is the green, is the a blue line. Looking at, so this A is a blue line here. So this is a horizontal line and that slope is gonna be zero. So all of our slopes are horizontal line is zero. And then our vertical lines are undefined because our undefined where X equals a constant. So our vertical line is C and it looks like C. A, B, C, D, E, did we get them all? Yeah, okay. So this is just an exercise. So when you look at the slope, when we start solving it and you have a negative slope, you know it should be rising to the left. If it's a positive slope, it's rising to the right. 
if the slope is zero, that means that it's a horizontal line. And if the slope is undefined, that means it's a vertical line. So just some more characteristics that you want to be aware of. So let's look at the first example here. It says, find the slope of a line, the slope M, that goes through these points. So whenever you have to find the slope of a line it is giving you two points, automatically you need the formula. The slope of a line is y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one. You need to know the slope. Okay, so uh, when we know the slope, <clears throat> all you have to do is uh, just plug in the numbers. And one of the things that I try to get students to do is that you should probably label these points so you just won't you know, get them confused. And it doesn't matter. We'll just say that this is x of one, y sub one, just because it's the first point there. This is a subscript. So this is x of one, y sub one. And then this will be x sub two, making sure that this is a subscript y sub one. So I don't have them right up under each other, but I hope you get to see what I'm trying to do here. So this is a subscript. X at one comma y sub one. And this is at not, both of them can't be y. So, uh, I mean, both of them can't represent the, the same point. So that, that's X at one, y sub one, this right here, is x sub two, y sub two. So this is x and this is y. All right, so we're just gonna put it in the formula. So you have y sub two, y sub two is negative one. So the slope here equals negative one minus, because you have a minus sign in the formula. And so y sub one is negative one. So you wanna be careful here because there's a negative in this formula and y sub one is negative one. So that's minus a negative one. And the denominator, again, the ratio, uh, slope is a ratio. So you have x sub two, which is one, minus x sub one, which is three. So in our numerator, we have one plus one. One minus three is negative two. So the slope here is two over negative two. So the slope here is negative one. So that's how you find the slope. You want to make sure that you know the formula and just label the points just so you can um, substitute correctly and then uh, solve algebraically. Find the slope of a line that's going through two points. Okay, well here, find the slope of a line that goes through the points and it says draw the graph. So we're going to find the slope the same way, but we're just going to plot the points over here. Okay, so, or better still, you know, it says to draw the graph, we can plot the points first. This is one, four, go over one, and then up four, because the points are not going to change. So that's one, four. And then this is three, four. So if you go to the right three and go up four, check it out. So we have plotted this point. And you know, can you see that this is a horizontal line? So we already know what the slope is. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. So when we um, graph these points or when we go through the slope, we, we, we should make sure it should be zero for confirmation. So we're drawing the graph and now we're gonna do the algebra of it for confirmation. Again, this is gonna be X of one, Y sub one, just to label the points. This will be X of two y sub two. So I'm trying to get the, the points to be right up under here, but my pen is too large. So, um, you know, this is x of one. Um, okay, that's not going to work. Or maybe I need to um, reduce the size of the pen. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to be, be too long. I got it real thin. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is x sub one. Y sub one, this point is X sub two, 
why sub two? And again, the subscript just means that that's the first point and the second point. So let's do the formula. You know the formula of a slope is y sub two minus y sub one. And if you don't know it, this is like one of our core learning principles of the class. So you wanna make sure that you um, know the slope. And um, if we substitute the slope is y sub two is four minus y sub one is one over x sub two is three minus x sub one is one. Okay, wait a minute. So I'm not doing this right, hold on. Y sub two is four, y sub one, y sub one, check it out, y sub one is four. So you wanna be careful, all right? I'm going, y sub one is four. And then X of two is three. That's why you label them and be careful. Minus X of one, which is one. So the solution here, four minus four is zero over two, which equals zero. So the slope here is zero and it's confirmed by our horizontal line. All right, let's look at the second one here. Again, so let's just plot the points first so we can kind of know what the slope should be like. So they should be the same. So let's plot these points. Negative three, two. Again, starting at the origin, you're going to go over negative three and then two. So this is right here. And then negative five, negative three. Negative five, negative three. So go over to the left, one, two, three, four, five, and then go down one, two, three. So this point is right here. So when we, um, so this is what the graph looks like. So when we uh, graph this, that means that we should have a positive slope because this is rising to the right. We should have a positive slope. So let's see uh, if we can do the algebra and verify it. Okay, so this is, I'm going to try to write up here. This is x sub 1, y sub 1. This is x sub 2, y sub 2. Put a comma between them. All right, and then you have a slope. The slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. These are subscripts here. Let me make sure that they're small enough to be subscripts. Okay, so y sub two, y sub two is negative three minus, so minus goes in the formula, y sub one is two divided by x sub two is negative five minus x sub one, is negative three. So again, I want to emphasize that there's negative sign is in the formula and this number is also negative three. So this is negative five minus a minus three. So if we simplify that, we'll have negative five divided by negative five plus three because these two negative numbers are um, positive. So this becomes uh, negative five divided by negative two. And you have two negative numbers. So the two negative numbers makes that reduced to five halves. Okay, so this is the slope five halves. So let me just demonstrate while I'm here. If you look at the difference between this point and this point, the Y changes. So again, now five halves, the slope equal five halves, this is the change in y divided by the change in x because the slope is a ratio. These are delta symbols here. Delta means change in mathematics. So this is the change in y divided by the change in x. So if we look at these points, if these are the y values, you go up one, two, three, four, five, this is a change in Y, you're going over one, two, well, it's not straight on the line. But anyway, so that gives you the, um, an illustration that this slope is correct. And it doesn't matter, even if you take two other points on the line, you're still gonna have the same slope.
Okay, this the equation of a line in two variables, the equation of a line, then the equation two can be written in the standard form and the slope intercept form. And that's what we have here. Uh, so you want to make sure that, and it tells you the y equals mx plus b is m is the slope and y is the y, b is the y intercept. So let's look at the directions here. It says find the slope of a line given the equations below. Find the slope of a line given the equations below. Really, and this is not, you know, I hope you, if you can handle the algebra of it, these should be pretty standard, but you don't want to get too confused because remember, if it's in this y equals mx plus b form, you can just look at it and find the slope. So if we look at number one, this is y equals 4x minus 1, all right? It says find the slope, y equals mx plus b. So when it's already in that form, when it's already in the form, remember, we can just look at it and we know that the slope here equals 4 because it's already in the y equals mx plus b form. Let's look at number 3. All right, find the slope here. So don't automatically just look at this coefficient two and say that this is a slope because you have to make sure you can take this equation and solve for y. So hopefully algebraically, you can take 2x equals y plus one and solve for y. So I'm gonna subtract one from both sides. So y is gonna equal 2x minus one. And I'm just gonna write it in the reverse order. So y equals 2x minus 1. OK, so in this case, yes, um, the coefficient before the x is the slope. All right, so the slope here equals 2 because this is y equals mx plus b. The coefficient here is the slope. Negative 1 is the y-intercept. If we look at five again now, don't always look at the coefficient before the x to be the slope. Let's solve for y here. So we take this equation, 5x plus 2y equals 2. We're solving for y. So we're subtracting 5x from both sides. So this becomes uh, 2y equals negative 5x plus 2. And then we're going to divide everything by 2. So we have y equals negative 5 halves x plus 1. So here, the slope is negative 5 halves. So remember, the slope is only the number. It's not negative 5 halves x. It's only the number. Um, you know that this is a negative slope. So if we were to graph this, if we were to graph this, I don't know what, if we were to graph this, I'm just going to squeeze it in here. Well, we know that the y-intercept is going to be positive 1. So we know that it's going to cross the line right here where x equals 1. And then this is y-intercept. So we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then maybe to the left 2. The line is going to look something like that. And we'll get to that. I just want to throw that little explanation in. This is your x and y axis. But the objective was to find the slope of the line. And to find the slope of the line, all we did was put it in this y equals mx plus b form. So we can just look at the coefficient of m. I mean, excuse me, the coefficient of x and find the slope. It's the coefficient. So the slope is not negative 5 halves. It's only the coefficient negative. negative this, it's not negative 5 halves x. It's only the coefficient negative 5 halves. So this is kind of what we uh, I talked about in the beginning, that parallel lines have the same slope and uh, perpendicular lines uh, when you multiply the um, slopes together, you equal negative one, or they're the, um, the negative reciprocal of each other. So you can take another look at that pause if you like. 
And again, now these are from the workbook. Um, so you can just follow along with um, the examples here. All right. Okay, as I look at these, I look here, I think that this should have an X there, but I'm not going to put an X there because if you were working on it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that. And since I'm lecturing, I'm just going to go and keep it like that and uh, we'll find the solution. Direction says, determine whether the pair of lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. We know parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines, when you multiply the slopes together, you get negative one, and then neither is um, it's when they don't have that relationship. All right, so let's look at here. So really, in order to determine whether the lines are parallel, so in order to determine whether these lines are parallel, perpendicular neither basically you just have to look at the slope so in order to look at the slope all you have to do is solve for y we take the two, first equation 2y two, 2y two, equals 4x plus 7 again we're looking for the slope Solving for y, we're dividing everything by 2. So here we have y equals 2x plus 7 halves. So the slope, uh, let's go right here. The slope of line 1 is 2. And since we're here, if I was asking you, if I was asking or not, but if I was asking you, uh, you could say that the y-intercept was seven halves. If we look at the second equation, four y plus two x equals zero, and four y equals two x, and y equals one half x and the slope of line two is one half. So um, let's check our math here. Two y dividing everything by two. Two x minus. Okay, so the slope here is two. Four x. Four y plus two x equals zero. Okay, so make make sure we subtract here. Just checking my algebra here. This should be negative two x, right? So bring it to the other side, divided by four. Negative two divided by four is one half. So this should be negative one half. So um, we know that they're not parallel lines because the slopes are not the same. But if we multiply, um, if we multiply two, which is the slope of one times negative one half, that equals negative two over two, which equals negative one. And when you multiply slope one times slope two, and it equals one, that means that they are perpendicular. So determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, neither. So the lines here for number four are perpendicular. R P E N D. I see you, L A R. Okay, so again, now, in order to determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, you're looking at the slope. The slope of the first line is two. The slope of the second line is negative one half. You multiply them together. Multiply the two slopes together, you equal negative one. And when you multiply them together, these lines are perpendicular. Okay, let's look at number six. Directions are the same. Determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Again, you're just looking at the slope. I'm going to use the space here. This is 7y plus 2x equals 4. Solving for y, because we're trying to get it in this y equals mx plus b form. 
So we can just look at it and identify the slope. So we're subtracting 2x from both sides. We have 7y equals negative 2x plus 4. We're dividing each term by 7. So we have y equals negative 2 over 7x plus 4 sevenths. So the slope of this line, the slope of line 1 is negative 2 sevenths. Look at the slope of line two. We have seven y plus one. Seven y equals one plus two x. Again, solving for y. We're dividing everything by seven. And we can go and use the commutative property and change these around, right? Hope you're comfortable with that. So y equals negative 2 over 7x plus 1 7. All right, so the slope here is negative 2 7, and the slope here of line 2 is negative 2 7. So if we were to graph this right here, because they have the same slope, then that means that these are parallel lines, P-A-R-A. -A. These are parallel lines. So if we look at number seven, again, now we're solving for y, so we can look at it and find the slope. So we have uh, 6y minus 5 equals negative 9x. We're adding 5 to both sides. So we have 6y equals negative 9x plus 5. Dividing everything by 6. So y equals, let's go and reduce this to the lowest term, dividing both of them by three. So that equals negative three over two x plus five, six. So the slope of this line, slope of line one is negative three halves. Let's look at here. Um, I think this should be an X there, but I'm not going to just put an X there because if you were doing the worksheet on your own, then you wouldn't put an X there. But this is, let's just say Y equals negative three halves plus uh, two over two, which is fine. So Y equals negative one half. And you know Y equals negative one half, the slope, of a horizontal line is zero, okay? So the slope of this horizontal line is zero because there's no X and the slope here is negative three halves. So for here, it's neither. All right, so again, in order to determine whether lines are parallel, perpendicular or neither, you have to find the slope. The same slopes are parallel line when you multiply the slopes together, they equal negative one, means that they are the reciprocal. So this section 3.3, .3, the slope of a line, we talked about the steepness of a line. And when you find, that's what the slope is, is how steep is the line. It's a ratio between the change in your y divided by your change in your x. And you need to make sure that you know this formula for the slope of a line. We talked about the equation of a line and how you find the slope. And primarily, if you put it in this y equals mx plus b form, the slope intercept form, you should be able to look at it very nicely to find the slope. And then the last thing that we learned in this section was parallel and perpendicular line. And more importantly, or characteristically, we were looking at the slope of parallel lines. And the slope of parallel lines are the same. And the slope of perpendicular lines, when you multiply them together, it equals negative one. So that's 3.3 .3 slope of the line.